Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a spotlight on Super Toy Cars. This is a kind of a car, micro machines racing game I guess would be a good way to describe it. It's available on Steam for $9.99, it does have multiplayer, it's interesting. <laughs> Let's just go with that. So here we are, typical racing menu, nothing too spectacular. So this has a track editor. It is fully workshop integrated. So you go into the track editor, you can create your own custom track, and then you can upload it to the workshop. I have yet to try anything from the workshop. I might give that a try later. It has online multiplayer. I've had some trouble finding matches. Uh, it's pretty simple. There's not a whole lot to it. And the only difference between it and, you know, quick race or career mode is that there's other actual people instead of the, you know, fairly basic racing AI. So let's hop in here and take a look at career mode. So here we go. You've got select a race, select a car and upgrades. So this is where you can go and buy a car. I have yet to buy a car and I kind of want this. So, oh yeah. So there's not a whole lot of customization you can do. It looks like there's only like, what, five? Yeah. Let's do that one. It looks a little rusty. So we will buy the lady, the horns ladybug. Yep. Yep. Let's do that. See what upgrades we've got for it. So we can upgrade the engine. We can upgrade the turbo the tires, the gearbox. I'm guessing the tires, yeah, the tires will increase acceleration, max speed, and handling. Huh, all right. Gearbox does, increases the weight and a little bit on acceleration. The tires do more on acceleration than the gearbox. Right, weight reduction, increases acceleration. That should actually decrease traction, I would think. Brakes increase handling. Decrease weight. Interesting. And booster. So you can do quite a few little upgrades. So let's head in here and we'll select a race. So I've done all of that. I've done part of that. And I guess I could do the episode three. So there's a whole bunch of different, I guess they call it episodes. Let's do the episode two. <laughs> I got one point on that one. All right, let's do one that I haven't tried yet. See how this one turns out. Ah, first across the finish line wins. Okay, so this is just a generic race. So three laps, eight guys, well, Eight cars. So as you can see, it looks a lot like your typical micro machines. Oh, you little prick. And you totally missed the eight ball. But I got an eight ball thrown at me. You bastard. I'm throwing an eight ball at you. You dirty jerk faces. So you've got these coins, you've got power-ups. This is kind of where the Mario Kart aspect of it comes in. And, ha, gotcha. So most of these power-ups, they pop up. Whoa, what the hell is that? Most of these power-ups, they go behind you. And they got that little camera in the corner there. And then you've got a boost. Whoa, whoa, whoa. crap, man. It's like you lose your handling or something. Yeah, you guys get the hell out of my way. Ooh. Oh. And... So you gain a boost by doing tricks. I guess would be the best way to describe it. Oh good, a useless power-up. Whoa. Okay, maybe I should have saved it instead of launching it. <laughs> I launched it just as I got hit by one. Okay, back off, buzzard. Oh, you went right through it. So it's kind of interesting, except there's not a lot of strategy. Like, for the most part, you don't need to worry about boosting. 
And I went for this one again. Come on, get in front of me. Ha <laughs> ha! It's... The tracks themselves, I have not lifted from the gas at all. Under normal circumstances, I would expect to have to at least lift a little bit to go around here. But you you end up gaining uh, this boost by doing drifts, which consist of that. And it's kind of lackluster. Like, look at how far ahead I was. And I'm horrible at racing games. I shouldn't be able to get that far ahead. I have not seen difficulty levels. So maybe there's a difficulty level hidden somewhere. I don't know why it started me there. But all in all, it's a fun little game. But I can't really recommend it. Because multiplayer plays like this too. There's not a lot of tactic in it. There's not a lot of strategy. If you try to continue... Oh, this one's got the mines on it, huh? If you try to be kind of tactical... Ah, it's... It ends up... Whoa, hello. That guy just popped me. It ends up hurting you more than anything. <laughs> so, drifting is not really good. And then you've got that, if it detects that you've crashed, it will correct you. You have only a few seconds to correct yourself before it decides that it's going to correct you. Not really keen on that. It's just... It's lacking in some of the more advanced areas. And I have no idea what those tokens are. Yeah. <laughs> Eliminated. Now, as far as I can tell, you have some sort of, like, damage indicators. Something. Five seconds... So, there's eliminations. I don't know how the eliminations work. I'm guessing that they have to do with if you're in last place for too long, you get eliminated. So, I am now... If I don't get in front of this guy, I will get eliminated. Oh! And I've been eliminated. Honestly, that is one of the most interesting tracks I've played. Look at the times between. They're all 15 seconds. I don't think you could do that if you tried. That's just really strange that it's all 15 seconds. Anyway, it's interesting, but I can't really say that I've finding it overly fun. There's a lot of different game modes, which are nice. Some of them are more annoying than others, like the previous one where there's landmines all over the place. Even that, even that, I should have had to do a power slide. Like, that's a power slide, and it really, really just kills your speed. <laughs> and then there's that. There's also a button that resets you. Now, I wonder if that's only... Nope. I only pressed it during multiplayer. Like, I'm playing with a 360 controller. And if you press the Y key, you'll reset to a certain spot. That's confusing, but I guess it makes sense if you get really stuck. I, I, got, I got first by two seconds. So, there's some weirdness. There's a lot of weirdness going on with the audio. Like, you hear, you can hear that... Almost sounds like there's, like, skipping. Yeah, that that's a thing. I, I don't know why. I, I don't know if it's just because... If it's something that's screwing up with my audio card. Or if it's the game itself. I don't know, though... Woohoo! Bounced right off of them. 
I have to say, I have yet to have that problem in any other game. So, I'm willing to bet that it's something wrong, something up with the game. It might be something that they designed into the game. I don't know. But overall, it's a great idea. But for the most part, it's kind of boring. You just kind of go. The sound assets and everything, like the audio quality, it's fairly good except for those occasional squeaks and squawks. There's a few parts of the track. You'll find an overhang. Let me see if we can come across one. Apple's not really a good indicator. There's a few overhangs, kind of like that bowl, but not quite. And of course I got another one there. Uh, this track doesn't really look like it's got anything. Hey! You dirty jerk. Yeah, that's right. Woo-wee! Oh, wow! Oh, wow. I don't know what the hell happened there. Yeah, you... I don't know what you did. But stay away from me. Give me this. Oh, and an eight ball. Hooray! Yeah, there's no real overhangs. The closest would be that bowl. And I won by default. <laughs> yeah, kind of dumb. And each one, 15 seconds again. Very, very strange. Fun, but not, not, not fun enough to really recommend. The multiplayer is the same thing, the same tracks, the same everything. The AI, as you saw there, is kind of stupid, but I think that's just racing AI. They're, they're, they're really not the brightest. Like that there, you hit. Get out of here. Give me this. Some of the collision is just a little off on some of the overhangs. I've had a few spots where you can clearly drive under it. Your car will clearly fit under it, but I've hit and spun out. And so far, I don't really see any, but we're just in the kitchen area, so this one doesn't have a whole lot of overhangs. Ooh. Oh, that wasn't... Oh, I overcorrected there. But yeah, I find that you end up losing control by doing the whole power slide that gets you boost. Eh. Don't particularly care for that. So I don't do it. Simple as that. Wow, I can't believe I'm in second place. I'm never in second place. Hey! Oh, he wasn't far enough in front of me. Oh, you all missed it. Every bloody one of you. And where's... Where is the car in front of me? I don't think I've ever had an AI car this far in front of me. There he is. Oh, you little jerk. Wow. Wow. Really? I came in third? By a nose. You dirty Billy Lightning. Ed Barkley. Brah. Anyway. So that that's pretty much it. That that's uh That's this. <laughs> Super Toy Cars. You play through Lego and Kitchens in little dinky cars. All right, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you all for watching. This is available on Steam. Link will be in the description, as usual, to the store page. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and we will see you next time.